the main goal is just to finish the straight line up here. At the ridge? The, the ridge? Yeah. You wanna see the ridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks good. Hey, I'm Freddie Wilkinson. I'm a climber from New England. I'm here in the Kumbu Himalaya with Uli Steck to help him get ready for some 8,000 meter peaks he wants to climb. Freddie is a really strong climber. He's in, in good shape. He seems just a happy person and does hot what he likes to do, and that's climbing. I guess we're gonna go along quite well together. <laughs> wow, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> climbing with Louis is like, you know, shooting hoops with Michael Jordan. Here in the Kumbu, this is the arena for high end mixed climbing in the greater ranges. And now we're waiting for the good weather to try Chalatis North Face. Right, this reverse. Cholat is really like, yeah. that's my goal for my whole climatization. It's just like the perfect line. Wow. I'm psyched. We've been watching the weather forecast. It's going to be awesome to go up there with Uli and give her hell. So we went in, in Pangboche to, to the monastery to do a, a puja. It's a Buddhist blessing. Yeah. You bless all the mountains and that's an important part in the whole expedition. It's kind of respectful to the people here in the Kumbu Valley. Right now, we're packing up for Cholazzi. Enough gear and not too much. That's the goal. <laughs> We're going pretty light. We're bringing two bivvies worth of, of food and fuel. That's basically the plan. We got an early start. We pretty much went on full attack mode. Soloed the first quarter of the face. The real challenge for us was to move as quickly as possible. And that means not placing extra gear and just not really hesitating. Taking chances to move fast. I haven't seen anybody who can move with that kind of confidence, like Uli, on that kind of hard terrain. Yeah. This is this perfect snow. We climbed over a thousand meters in about 10 hours. We got up onto the, the final summit snow bowl right as the weather started to crap out. So we are almost done. 6,000 meters. If we go now straight to the right, there are like nice pinnacles. I think you will find a good baby spot there. This is gonna be home sweet home. We found this little kind of mushroom bivy zone. Definitely a little spooky being up here without a tent. Anyway. Get some rest. Yeah. The next morning we woke up and it was still a little cloudy and, and we definitely felt like the weather was gonna be worse. And so we kind of looked at each other and made the decision to try to go up and over the mountain as quickly as possible. Second day, climbing the last like 400 meters to the summit. Just this exhausting steep snow climbing. ended up summiting at one in the afternoon. And then immediately started our descent down the Southwest Ridge. Going up on a steep technical climb in the Himalaya is a serious game. It's gonna test you totally as a climber. 
I kind of surprised myself and was able to, you know, exceed what I thought my personal limits were. I've never climbed a mountain in this weather. I think. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. The weather was a little bit gnarly, but it's okay. <laughs> Definitely climbing with Uli has shown me, you know, new levels of what's possible with my own climbing, and I'm looking forward to returning again. I'm so happy to climb Chalatsi's North Face. I'm perfect prepared for Shisha Pagma. I'm up on 9,000 meters. That's completely a new game. The air will be thinner, it will be colder, and it will be higher. There is a risk you can die, you know? 